how to use google keyword planner in 2021 hi guys in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use google keyword planner for absolutely free so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that you want to do is come over to ads.google.com now once you're over here all you have to do is just simply sign in and you can sign in by clicking on this button or you can click on start now now if you have an account you can click on sign in but if you don't you can click on start now so click on start now and as you can see over here what you want to do is you want to promote your website or your business profile or whatever just simply click on next so over here as you can see i have already i had created my account before so now it's just it's telling me to like create a new campaign or whatnot so let's just go ahead and switch to expert mode and over here let's just create an account without a campaign because campaigns are the one that require money if you sign up without a campaign then you won't have to pay any you know cash or whatever so you can just sign up for free actually so continue click on submit and now over here let's just explore our account so we have signed up and we have everything set up and now we can go ahead and explore it and now i'm going to be telling you about keyword processors and how you can basically do them so let's just discard this that was my previous campaign that i had created uh, we don't need that actually so now once we're over here what you want to do is you can see that we have a couple of things going on over here. This is not, you know, required. This is our uh, estimate of our campaign that we have been running, but we have no campaign running. So it's totally fine. What you want to do is come over here at the tools and settings option over here. Click on tools and settings. And over here, what you want to do is find the keyword planner. And as you can see underneath planning, you can see the keyword planner. Just simply click on it and it'll take you to the keyword planner. So this is how it looks like. Now you can discover uh, new keywords or you can get research volume and forecasts. And then down below, you have some filters that you can create and stuff like that. Basically, you can create your own keywords as well. So basically, the difference between these two is that you get keyword ideas that can help you reach people interested in your product or service. And with the research volume and fo uh, forecast, you get research volume and other historical metrics plus forecasts for how they could perform. So as you can see over here. What we want to do is we we are interested in reaching people and getting them interested in our products or service. So we want to discover new keywords. So we're going to check click on this one. And over here, as you can see, start with a keyword or start with a website. So all we have to do is enter in keywords that are most related to our business. And then we can grow that business as well. So let's just assume that your business is tech niche. And what you what I want you guys to do is just simply enter in keywords that are related to tech niche. So let's just enter in. So as you can see, these are some of the searches that come up. Now over here, as you can see, we have custom cases, we have phone accessories, we have phone, mobile phone, we have all these different uh, options that we can add. We have more tags that we can add into our search to get a broadened search. These searches also depends upon the country and your location as well. So as of right now, it's selected Pakistan. So if I change this, so as you can see, this is um, this is the country that I wanted. Now, what, I, what if I just, you know, wanted to just select a certain portion of America? Let's just say that I wanted to search for California or, or New York. So all I have to do is just search for New York. Just simply select that and we just unselect the United States. And then we are just targeting New York and we click on save. Now, all these ads that are going to come up and are going to be targeted at New York. So as you can see, phone cover, this is the most uh, relatable to one. So the monthly average searches is from 100 to 1000. So the competition is pretty high. A lot of people are using this keyword. Now, we need to find a word that has a higher search volume and has a low competition like this one, like iPhone 8 case, like it's a medium competition. Uh, OK, we need to find someone with a low competition. Like where is it? Like this one, like here, leather phone cases. No one is using these types of these this keyword like but its search results is a lot. It's 1000 to 10,000 and it's low competition because not a lot of people are using it. And over here, the top page bid is also lower and the higher range is it's not that high as well it's it's in the middle like this this keyword is perfect like we can use this keyword and we can implement it in our website in our ads and stuff like that so as you can see we could change things up a bit 
like uh, this one for the this one was for the united say we can change the locations as well depending upon the location that it's going to tell us the amount of searches or and different keywords as well now over here as you can see we have refined keywords now this is in the beta program so we don't have to like you know explore more into it but since we're already here let's just go ahead and show you guys what it is so we have brands and non-brands basically it will tell us about all the keywords that we want within those certain brands so basically what if you wanted like a samsung phone cover then you just simply check this box and uncheck all the other ones then you will only get samsung phone cases what if and if you want apple phone cases then just check the apple box and uncheck all the other ones and then you'll only get phone cases that are related to apple the same goes with fashion brand as well they like check all the boxes that you want in this uh fashion brand and you'll only get those types of uh covers and that are made from those brands as well the same things can be said about other brands such as amazon mouse pop socket cat light phone and stuff like that like check all the boxes that you want and then that is basically it only ads within those boxes are going to be shown up meaning only those from those companies are going to show up and then down below you have accessories the same one as i said before like you have leather cases screen protectors silicone case and stuff like that only those phone cases will show up with those types of keywords the same with approach and others and devices as well like it's pretty good pretty easy as well and also we can download these keyword ideas as well so if you want to like download them and keep them on your drive and to have a offline save of them like you can do that as well like google ads planner is pretty cool you can do a lot of stuff with it so uh, i definitely recommend doing it now what if you wanted to add more tags to it like let's just say that we change the tags up a bit let's say we have shoes so we'll go with nike shoes okay now we'll go with get results and as you can see all the nike shoes are going to be over here and these are all some of the very very high uh some of the very very high searches so as you can see this one over here nike it has over 100,000 to 1 million searches, but its competition is pretty high, so we don't need that. Now, this is the one that, that we would like, like, as you can see, Snickers, but without the ENA. So it's S-N-K-R-S, which is pretty good. Like, as you can see over here, like it has a 10K search to 100K search, and its competition is really low. Like, like this is the type of keywords that we are looking for. And as you can see, the top paid bid is also pretty low, and the highest bid is also not that high, which is perfect because this is the type of keywords that we need and are going to be perfect for our business to improve. So let me just go ahead and search for some other keywords that we could like. So over here, let's just search for phone. I'm sure a lot of videos on phone reviews are going to come up and I'm pretty sure it will help us with that. So as you can see, when I search for phone, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11, and I just realized that iPhone 13 came out. Maybe if I search for iPhone 13, it'll help us to get more results. So if I search for iPhone 13, as you can see, it's rising. It's still low. Competition is still pretty low. So if you wanted to make a video on the iPhones or you wanted to like, you know, get some ads rolling, you can like use the iPhone 13, the keyword, it's 900 plus. It's still rising. The competition is still low and the top paid bid in the low range is 33 and the top page bid in the high range is 42. This one is show you this one as well, because as you can see, uh, it's pretty popular as well. The iPhone 13, it just came out. Okay. And the keywords are really popping as of right now. So that is it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment sections down below and I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.